aka the nerd girl review and today I will be doing my January wrap up for the second time. The first time I filmed it I didn't realize I had a filter on my camera from the last time I was taking pictures so after I did the entire video and I looked back I realized that I had this weird like orangish yellow going on and that was not okay. So I'm refilming this. So in January, I went back to college after break, so I got a decent amount of books read for January. I read seven books, so I'm quite proud of that, you know, but you know, I have a lot more that I need to read because my goal for this year is 100 again, and I reached it last year, but that's because I had way more time to read, so we'll see if I can reach it this year. On to the wrap up. So. These aren't in chronological order of what I read, but I'm still going to refer to them as number one, number two, so on and so forth. So the first book I read was a book I had put off since August. Like, I started it in August before I started college, but then for some reason I put it off and I just haven't gotten back to it. But it is You by Carolyn Kepnes. We're just going to go with that. And um, I gave this a four out of five stars. I really liked it. It's it's different. It's creepy, creepy, creepy. Like creepy is the only way to describe it. I really love the writing. I love how just it's very different. And I got requested. I requested an arc for the second book, Hidden Bodies, from that galley, and my request got accepted, so I'm really happy about that, and I can't wait to see what the second book is like, because honestly, this could have been a standalone, but I'm excited to see where the second book takes it. You know, I'm not complaining that there's a second book, but it should be interesting. The next book I read was Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass, a book I said I would never read. But, you know, after some convincing, I decided to do a buddy read with my friend Tamika, who I will leave a channel to her blog and her channel down below. But we're doing a buddy read each month, and for January, we buddy read this, and we're going to continue the series eventually. But, um, yeah, I actually really enjoyed this. It was a lot different than I thought it would be, and I think that's because I thought there would be more of a fae aspect, and there wasn't in this book, which makes me happy, but... We'll see what I think when I read the rest of the series and the Fae become a bigger part of it. But yeah, I really liked Selena, or Selena, however you say her name. I really liked her. She was really like a badass. And I, I liked the plot and I liked the characters, you know. Not so much a fan of the love triangle, but you know, we'll see. Uh, next I read Carry On by Rainbow Rowell and I... Oh. Throne of Glass I gave four and a half stars. I don't think I said that. This I gave three and a half stars. I liked it, but not that much. The first 250 pages were incredibly boring. Like, I almost thought about giving up on this book. But I decided to push on because people said it got better. And it did. And the only reason why it got better is because of Baz. Like, he's the only reason why this book is worth reading. I wasn't a fan of most of the characters, and the plot just, like, made zero sense and was a waste of time, to be honest. And the insta-love between Simon and Baz just kind of confused me because you don't go from hitting someone to just, like, straight up making out with them in the woods like that. Like, it doesn't happen. Um, the rest of the books I read were all review books, and they're all an ebook, and I don't feel like pulling those out because I'm lazy. So I'm going to be referring to my laptop, which is on my lap, so that's why I keep glancing down for those of you who actually care. But next, I read Death in A Major by Sarah Fox, and this was supposed to be like a musical murder mystery type thing, but it didn't really turn out that way. Um, I thought it was okay, the writing wasn't anything special, nor was the plot, but there were a few twists that I didn't see coming, which surprised me, because usually I can tell when twists are going to come, so that's why I gave it a three stars, just because of that little surprise element. Uh, da, 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 da. Next, I read The Crow Box by Nikki Ray. And da, 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 da. I was not a fan. Not at all. It was supposed to be like a young adult book. I don't even know what genre would be considered because it was just so weird. I didn't like the writing. I didn't like the characters. I gave it two stars because it was just, it was not my cup of tea. Next, I read another book that Tamika said I should read. And she had read this for a review from the author. And so I decided to request a review from the, a review copy from the author as well. 
and I got it. And this is called Outsiders by Tammy Farabee. Um, I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. I wasn't the hugest fan, but I did appreciate it. There was a lot of diversity in it, which is so rare to see in a lot of young adult books, unfortunately. And that made me really happy. Like, the main character was an African-American female who was an atheist, and I can identify with that. And that made me really happy because I've never been able to really read about someone who's a person of color and an atheist in a book, and I thought that was really cool. But, um... Plot-wise, I wasn't the biggest fan. I didn't really like the characters either. There, it was just, it was really weird, very insta-lovey. And for those of you who don't know, I hate insta-love. And I'm also kind of growing to hate young adult as well, as unfortunate as it sounds. I will leave, you know, links to the two blog posts that I'm referring to, but... Yeah, I'm having issues with young adult and insta-love. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it there, but... Overall, you know, the book had like a contemporary aspect and like a sci-fi aspect and I wasn't the hugest fans of both of those aspects, but I felt like the sci-fi aspect shouldn't have been there. I think if it was just more of like a contemporary, it would have been a lot better because the sci-fi aspect didn't really make sense to me. And the last book I read was Fire and Frost by Alicia Raids. And um, this is basically like a young adult book that's about like this psychic. And I don't really know how, what else to say. I mean, it was a very quick read. There was nothing really special to it, which seems to be the trend with a lot of young adult books lately, unfortunately, which is why I'm kind of trying to branch away from young adults. You know, I just, I need something better. I need more. Young adult just isn't as special anymore. Like, I'm going to keep reading it, just not as much as I used to. I think a lot of that has to do with starting, you know, a book blog and booktube. Everyone's reading Young Adult, and so I thought I had I needed to read Young Adult. Like, I really didn't used to read this much Young Adult when I was younger, but now, um, I feel like I need to go back to that. Uh, do I have anything else to say? Not really. That was my wrap-up. Uh, as you can see, I've acquired more books because I have a problem and I have even more books at home and yeah it's it's a problem who knows when I can oh, I'm going to get to some of those books so until next time I was about to say next month I promise it won't be a month you know between this video and the next at least that's my intention plan on pre-filming some videos this weekend because I've got some spare time but we'll see